Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on factoring special products. So today, you will factor the difference of two squares, and you will factor perfect square trinomials. Here's the question I want you thinking about as we proceed through the lesson today. How can you use what you already know to recognize factor and factor special products? So hopefully you remember learning about the square of a binomial pattern when you learn to multiply binomials. If you have not, and this does not seem familiar to you, I have a lesson previously in this playlist that uh, talks about multiplying binomials in their special patterns. So we're gonna use what we've learned about these to factor. So in the previous um, lessons, when you learn to multiply, you learned that a plus b squared would always be in this pattern, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And if you had a subtract b squared, it would be in this pattern, a squared subtract two times the value of a times b plus b squared. So we're gonna use these in reverse. If I can recognize that I have a trinomial in this square of a binomial pattern, I know that factored, it's gonna be the value of a plus the value of b squared. Same thing here, it'll be the difference. The only thing different would be that we have this term is being subtracted, so it's gonna be a minus b squared. So let's look what this looks like with a trinomial. So the first thing I wanna do when I'm looking to see if I have a special factor pattern is I'm gonna to look to see if the first and last terms are perfect squares. So this is really one x squared. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 25 is five. So then I look to see if this is the sum of a times b. So the square root of a is one, and that last term b, which would be in the pattern we've looked at, is five. Well, five plus five is 10, so this works out. So if I look at this pattern, I know that x plus five times x plus five, or x plus five squared, is this factored. And we can look at, if we were foiling our inner and outer terms, 5x and 5x are 10x. So now we're gonna factor this one and show you the square of the difference. So the perfect squares, 4x squared is a perfect square, 49 is a perfect square. Their sum, 14 plus 14, is 28 to get me my center term. So now I can write them as a product of two binomials, 2x subtract 7 squared. And again, here my inner terms would be multiplied and give me negative 14x. My outer terms, negative 14x with a sum of negative 28x. It's your turn. Go ahead and pause. See if you can factor this. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So hopefully you identified that the first and last terms are perfect squares and the square root of 64 is eight. And look, eight X for my inner terms, eight X for my outer terms with a sum of 16 X. So factored would be X plus eight squared. All right, one more for you. Try this one. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So perfect square of nine X squared, that would be three X. Perfect square of 100, that square root would be 10. So we know it's a difference because this is subtract. Inner terms, 30x. Outer terms, negative 30x. Added together, negative 60x. So 3x minus 10 squared. All right, let's look and see if we can recognize a sum and difference pattern. So if we rec remember learning about this when you learn to multiply binomials, we can use this to now factor special trinomials. So we learned that a add b multiplied by a subtract b would be equal to a squared minus b squared. So we're gonna now use this to identify that if we have a special um, trinomial or a polynomial in the form a squared minus b squared, we know that factored it's gonna be a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Just to remind you, when we multiplied, if you think about the inner terms, we have positive AB and the outer terms would be negative AB and that's why we only have two terms to this um, polynomial and that center term is a zero pair. 
So how we recognize this is again, we're looking for our first and last terms to be perfect squares. It's just, we only now have two terms. So if you have two terms and the first term and the last term are uh, perfect squares, we have this sum and difference pattern. So the perfect squares are x and negative nine, right? So we have, we're gonna need a positive nine and a negative nine to get this negative 81. So again, 9x, negative 9x are a zero pair, and that's what forms this pattern of a squared minus b squared. So we call that the sum and the difference pattern. So here's another one. 36x squared is a perfect square, and so is 169. So the perfect square here that would have a square root of 6x, and this would have a square root of 13 and we have our sum and difference pattern. Again, noting that our inner product and our outer product form a zero pair. They are opposites, giving us this a squared minus b squared pattern, which is our sum and difference pattern. All right, your turn. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So perfect square, perfect square, and again, we have the sum and difference pattern. So x subtract 11 multiplied by x add 11. And the order of our binomial factors does not matter. All right, your turn. Try another one. Go ahead and pause, come back when you're ready. All right, we have perfect squares, 25x squared. The square root of that is 5x and the square root of nine is three. Noting again that our inner pair would be negative 15x and our outer product would be positive 15x giving us a zero pair so we have a sum and difference pattern okay your turn here's a hint though let's see what you've learned so far in our unit of factoring can you completely factor this polynomial go ahead and pause and come back when you're ready welcome back so I hope you know to look for our greatest common factor as your first step in factoring, even if it's a special product. So both terms have a greatest common factor of 12. So if I factor out the 12 first, that leaves me x squared subtract four. So if I stop and pause and think, these are both perfect squares and I have the sum and difference pattern. So completely factored would be 12 multiplied by x subtract two multiplied by x add to. So hopefully this helps you recognize some special products and gives you a shortcut to factoring polynomials. Please um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.